Hello! Welcome to iShow Travel. My name is Xiao, and today I will give you a detail of my expenses breakdown of how I spent 22 days in Europe across 12 cities, 8 countries for only 1,200 euro. So let's start with my first stop, which is in Rome, Italy, where I stayed in Legends Hotel, all girls drawn for two nights, costing me 65 euro. I mostly had pizza, pasta, and panini bread, which cost around 8 euro each, so three days a meal are on average 24 euros. Living in the city centre, most tourist attraction is accessible by walking, and I strongly recommend that as the building around just leaves me in awe. The next day, I bought a return journey bus ticket to Vatican City for 3 euros. It was a 2 hour long queue to get into the Vatican City, and the ticket to Vatican Museum cost 17 euros. Remember to look at the ceiling inside, my jaw literally dropped. The queue to the St. Peter's Basilica looked like it could take another 2 hours, so I had to skip due to time constraint and paid 14 euro to Castel St. Angelo for the view of Vatican City instead. The cheapest meal in the museum cost 12 euro, which concluded that I spent around 30 euros on meals for today. I got back to Rome in the evening and toured around for a little while, which is a nice scene to see at night. Next day, I spent 24 euros today on 3 meals. I spent my day walking around the outside of Colosseum, Roman Forum, and outside of tourist attractions today. Rome is really rich of history, spectacular buildings, interesting stories about the Rome mythology. The only drawback is that it's overpopulated with tourists. The next day, I took the Regio Jet overnight bus for 19 euro to Vienna, but it was a long journey of 15 hours. If I could replan this, I would have wanted a stop in Florence, Italy and Ljubljana in Slovenia. Oh my god, it's a hard pronunciation. From the station, I bought a return journey ticket that cost around 5 euro to get to city centre. I won't be staying in this city, it's just an 8 hours transit point to get to the next stop. So I had to place my bags in the locker for 3 euro. 3 meals a day in this city averagely cost 23 euro. And next stop, I took a flick bus to Budapest, 9 euro. I took the metro and tram to the city center. Return journey ticket cost 2 euro. I live in the Avenue Hostel All Girls Dorm for two nights at 26 euro. It's easy to find cheaper food in this city at around 5 euro, and with this price, you have to try the Hungarian Langos, which is a fried bread. They are also famous for this chimney cake for 1 euro. Three meals a day at around 15 euros, and for my two day stay, I will conclude it as 30 euros. I joined a free walking tour and tipped 10 euro. I highly recommend this tour as you would then know the name of the city came from two areas, Buda and Pest, which were separated by the Danube River. The tour guide also told us about the famous Hungarian fruit brandy, Palinka, which is around 6 euro per bottle, but I didn't try it. And my next job is actually in Krakow, which I took a Flix bus, costing me 16 euro. This is also a transit point, so I spent 3 euros on locker. Make sure you try their Bosch at 5 euro and their sour rear soup for 350 euro. I took an evening flix bus to Zakopane for 250 euro. I stayed in Goodbye Lenin Hostel. It's 18 euro for two nights. They have free breakfast! This place is known for its height, but it was raining in the morning. Just across the street outside of the hostel, there's a van that would send you to the entrance of Moschia Oko. Return trip costs 4 euro. It's a beautiful destination with the scenery of the mountain, water, I even tried the mountain spring water. What I expected to see was this, and what I actually saw on a rainy foggy day is so different. Lunch on the mountain cost 350 euro. Dinner nearby the hostel cost 4 euro, so I conclude I spent around 15 euros for my meals for two days. From Zakopane, it's 12 euros to return to Krakow in order to take another flix bus to Prague for 16 euro. I walked to my hostel check-in and check-in for two nights in an all-female hostel dorm, costing me 16 euros. In Prague, this is a city famous for its beer. You will see a lot of people in costume to attract the attention of tourists in getting them to visit their bar. There's even a mobile cycling bar on the road. Okay, so I just bought like a chocolate beer and I'm gonna try it now to see if I like it. Um, no, I don't really like it. And on Charles Bridge, a lot of people would touch this where it's known to bring you good luck. I asked a local on a famous food and they recommended me fried cheese which cost 4 euro. 3 days a meal cost 12 euros averagely and two days would be around 25 euros. In the evening, I went to one of the famous Starbucks known to have good view for sunset. 
spend 4 euros on drink, it will be closed at 7 in the evening. So make sure that you catch the sunset before that. The next day, I took a flick bus to Munich for 20 euros. Walked to my hostel, Wombat City, and stayed for two nights, costing 50 euros. That's free breakfast! Yay! So the cheapest meal I could find is 3 euro for their sausage burger, which I saw a lot of Germans are actually queuing up for. So a day with lunch and dinner could cost averagely 12 euros. I joined a free walking tour and paid 10 euros. I've used Klug to purchase the tour to Neuschwanstein Castle. It costs 50 euros. I paid an additional 27 euros to the Lindorf Castle, as I heard it's in fact nicer than the Nuish Wansang Castle. Lunch nearby is at 14 euros, and dinner back in Munich is around 7 euros. From Munich onwards, I took the DB train to Rodenberg. I met up with friends whom I've known from cruise ship while I was working on board. We toured around Rodenberg for a bit, had lunch called the. Okay, this way. Okay, can you pronounce? Can you pronounce this, please? Okay, are you ready? Schweine Schnitzel. Schweine For 14 euro. Then my friend sent us to Heidelberg and tour around the castle, which was beautiful to be up on to watch sunset. From Heidelberg, we took a train to Mannheim to crash at my friend's place for the night. My friend is a German who has a semester ticket, which is a student ticket for transport. He can bring another friend and travel for free after 7 p.m. on weekdays. Free transportation, free accommodation, best part of this trip. Had dinner at around 6 euros. I had free breakfast in my friend's place. Yay! Lunch and dinner at around 11 euros. There's nothing much in this city, it's just a pit stop for me to do my laundry, relax from the speedy traveling. I moved to Strasbourg next, which is at the border of France with flick bus for 9 euros. I bought the return journey for tram ticket at 4 euros to get to my hostel, Cyrus and check in for a night at 34 euros. Three meals a day here is 28 euros on average. So one of the drinks that you have to try here is called the Diablo. Took another flix bus from Strasbourg to Paris for 19 euros. I live in Mije, Borsi, Borsionio, Morbizon, Hostel, oh my god, for two nights. It's 75 euros in total. Three meals a day is around 20 euros. And for three days, I would say it's about 60 euros. Paris could be quite a big city to walk, but it's too nice to walk around. The Eiffel Tower is romantic to look at. Louvre Museum is stunning. But my favorite spot in Paris is Tuileries Garden, where I was people watching families picnic with their baby, and even couples kissing in broad daylight, which I love because it's a rest in Asia. Next, I took the Verling flight from Paris to Barcelona for 35 euros. I used Klug and bought a return journey trip with Aerobus for 10 euros. For the 8 hours transportation ticket for 16 euros, as Barcelona is way too big of a city to explore by food, and also 23 euros for entrance ticket to Casa Batlo. I stayed in Urbani Hotel Mixed Dorm for 3 nights, costing 69 euros in total. I heard so much about the paella and sangria that had 3 of these meals. On average, 3 meals a day cost around 23 euros, so 3 days are about 66 euros. I joined a free walking tour about Gaudi's creation, tip 10 euros. The details on the Sagrada Familia is magnificent. Walking down the street, hearing about Gaudi's creation also inspires me deeply, knowing how someone could truly unleash their creativity to full potential. The Prague Girl where Gaudi works and overlook the city. And I also love the dancing water at the magic fountain of Montjuic, one of the top fountains in the world. This is the end of my trip and how I've actually come to spend less than 1,200 euros on a 22 days trip. So in planning for this trip, I actually have visited a few websites in helping me to plan out such budget. So I would like to honor and give credit to these websites. First is budgetyourtrip.com, visitacity.com, click.com, hostelworld.com, flixbus.com, omia.com, and skyscan.com. In total, I've incurred 353 euros on hostel, 409 euros on food, 221 euros on transportation, 141 euros of entrance ticket to museums, and 28 euros on miscellaneous expenses. So I hope you love this video and I just want to share this to let everybody know that it is possible to travel around Europe at a not so expensive way where you can actually plan it out carefully. And I hope you love my video and I'll be coming up with more videos talking about tips and tricks in Europe what you should be aware of and how are you supposed to save your money. So thank you very much and bye for now.